Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. A test in New Zealand recently grabbed headlines for leaving 15-year-olds in tears because the students felt the test was too hard. I made a video about one problem from the exam, and I had a request to make a video about another problem. The kite GDBE is placed in the square ACHF. DG equals GB equals EG. Calculate the size x of angle DBE. Justify your answer with clear geometric reasoning. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. In presenting the solution, I'm going to make one slight change to the diagram. I'm going to adjust the lengths ever so slightly so the diagram is to scale. This will make it easier to see the lengths and the angles involved. The key to solving this problem is to consider the diagonals of the kite. Now I'm going to present how you can find the solution, and I hope I justify it with enough logic, but I'm going to just present an outline in this video, and if there are any small gaps in the steps, I'm sure someone in the comments will be willing to sort it out. So one way you can solve this problem is that after you draw the diagonals, you'll be able to find a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, which will allow you to figure out the angles that are necessary to get the value of x. We'll first draw diagonals DE and GB, and suppose they meet at point I. In a kite, the diagonals are always perpendicular to each other. Furthermore, since DG is equal to EG, diagonal GB perpendicularly bisects diagonal DE. Therefore, DI is equal to IE, and GB is equal to the length of the square. But since DE is also the length of the square, we can conclude that the sides DG and GB and EG will equal twice DI and twice IE. Now we have a right triangle DIG whose hypotenuse DG has twice the length of one of its legs DI. If you have a right triangle where its hypotenuse is two times the length of one of its legs, that means it's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And the angle that's opposite the side of DI will be equal to 30 degrees. Therefore, angle DGI is equal to 30 degrees. By similar reasoning, EIG is a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and so angle EGI is equal to 30 degrees. So we're almost there to be able to calculate the size of x. The vertical diagonal splits the kite into two congruent isosceles triangles. This is because we have side angle side. DG is equal to GB is equal to GE, and the angle between those sides is equal at 30 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angles in these isosceles triangles will be equal to each other. Angle GDB equals angle GBD equals angle GEB, which equals angle GBE. So this means angle X is bisected by this vertical diagonal. Furthermore, the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can add up the two remaining angles plus 30 degrees to be 180 degrees. Those two angles will be equal to each other and two of them together will be equal to 150 degrees and two of them together is also the size of X. Therefore, X is 150 degrees. So this is one way that you can solve the problem. 
There's another way that might be slightly shorter, or some people might be able to understand a little bit easier, but it's almost the same solution, is to consider an equilateral triangle formed when you draw the diagonals. So we'll again draw the diagonals of the kite, and we'll put their common meeting point as i. Now instead of considering the 30, 60, 90 right triangles, we'll consider the larger triangle, which is DEG. So we have these lengths, which we've already deduced from the previous solution method. And just to restate, we know that DE is equal to the length of the square, which is equal to DG, which equals GB, which equals EG. Therefore, DGE is an equilateral triangle so each of its angles is equal to 60 degrees. In particular, angle DGE equals 60 degrees. We then have triangles DGI and EGI being congruent by side, side, side. Therefore, the angles DGI and EGI will be equal to each other, and it'll be half of 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees. So we've once again figured out these angles are 30 degrees each, and we can proceed just like in the last proof where we have congruent isosceles triangles and we can figure out the value of x from there. We'll again get 150 degrees. Did you figure out this problem and do you think it was too hard to give to 15 year olds? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can support me on Patreon. You can also check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker, depending on the site.